So let's talk about the GPS, um, so global positioning system. So we have been using GPS a lot, uh, so in our daily life. So, uh, like especially for transportations. Uh, so, uh, now we have installed GPS on our car and also on our cell phones, so that uh, when you go out traveling, driving, and you can know your, uh, so you can use that one for navigation. And we can use that one to do serving, so uh, and also do mapping. So, uh, so those are will be some more professional GPS system. So, uh, the accuracy will be much higher than uh, the GPS on our cell phones. Uh, and also other uh, purposes like uh, military use. Uh, so, GPS has been invited uh, for the military use at first, and then. Uh, we use that one for our daily life. Uh, so for the GPS element elements, so we have satellites. Uh, so those satellites are flying in the space, so like uh, far away from the Earth, and those satellites knows their know their locations in the space, um, uh, in the three D coordinates, and also they are flying. They are sending out signals to our to the Earth. And then we have the receivers. So receivers are normally that what, what we call the GPS devices. Actually, GPS can include also include the system in entire system uh, includes the satellite receivers and also the ground base. Okay, so our what we have on our cell phones are just receivers. Uh, so those satellites are flying uh, above the uh, above the ground. And they know their locations, and our users. So we can use our cell phones, and also, um, all we can use our GPS devices on our, uh, in our cars, um, and we will receive those signals as sent out by those satellites. Okay. Um. So the satellite send out signals constantly, so like radios, so they are broadcasting their location. And we also have the ground station. So ground station is only used when you need very high accuracy. Okay, so when you need a high accuracy. So ground station uh, also knows location of itself. And so it is used to collaborate on the, the result. Okay, so the ground station is used to collaborate the result. So without ground station, the accuracy is around, for the GPS is probably three to five meters. Okay, meters. Uh, with ground stations after the collaboration, the, the accuracy can be, uh, so the, the error can be less than one meter. Okay, so the error can be less than one meter. So uh, with the collaboration with, uh, with the collaboration with the ground, ground base. Okay, so how does that work? Uh, so satellites send out the signals. Okay, so the satellite the satellite knows the x, y, and also z of itself. And on the Earth, so we have let's say we have a receiver. So it will tell you it will send out signal. So the signal contains three information. Okay, so the information of the x, y, z of satellite itself. And also when the satellite sent out the signal. So it also had a time stamp. The receiver will know so that will be T1. The receiver will pick up the signal and also it will know the T2. Okay, so when we receive the signal, because there's a distance. And once we know the time, then we can compare the difference in terms of time so that. We know that how long the signal has traveled from the satellite to the receiver. So that we convert that time difference into the spatial difference. So we will be able to calculate the distance between the receiver. Okay, we are know the difference between the receiver and also the satellite. Okay, so for example, this is satellite one. And we know the diff, diff, uh, distance one. 
And we, what we want to know is the location of our receiver itself. So we have three unknown variables. Okay, so we have three unknown variables. So that means we get the satellite signal from satellite one. Normally, we also need to get information from another satellite. And also, we also have need another satellite. So we all know the difference between the satellite two and the difference between satellite three. And also from the signal, we know the X, Y, Z from satellite two. And also X, Y, Z from the satellite three. Okay, so we have those variables and then we are able to calculate, okay, so what is X, Y, Z of this receiver? Okay. So that is how the satellite is working. Okay, uh, so receiver will receive the signals that contain the position of the satellite and also time that uh, the satellite signal has been sent out and also the time that signal has been received. So we can get the distance between the satellite and also receiver, okay? We get the distance between satellite and also receiver, and also we have X, Y, Z uh, from at least three satellites, okay, at least from three different satellites. And normally we need four so that we can have one more for collaboration. And then we are able to get the calculate X, Y, and also Z of the receiver, okay. So we can also get elevation. Um, but accuracy is not as good as X and Y. Okay, so that's how we calculate uh, uh, how the GPS is working. Okay, uh, so one more time. So the satellite, we have multiple satellites that fly all over the space. Okay, uh, so they will, they will know the exact location of the satellite itself. Okay. And then it will send out signals to our receiver. And our receiver will know the time difference and also the exact location of the satellite. Okay. After collecting more than three signals, so normally five, four signals, four different satellite informations, our receiver will be able to know the exact location of itself. And also I said that we also have ground space. So the ground space uh, also has its uh, know its know the location of the ground space, so that if we gather information from ground space, so we can collaborate uh, the signals further, so that we will have more accurate location of the re receiver. Okay, so we will have more accurate uh, of the uh, information of the receiver. So that is how the GPS is working. Um, the most common GPS is the uh, US system, so um, global positioning system. Um, you can see that normally we have we have 30 satellites flying all over the Earth, and we, normally we have 24 that is operation at any time. And without the ground space, the accuracy is 3 to 5 meters. Okay, without ground space, uh, the accuracy is 3 to 5 meters. With the ground space, so after collaboration with the ground space, you can see the accuracy is less than 1 meter, so it's, it will have very, very high accuracy. So that is the GPS, so that is Global Positioning System. Uh, so nowadays, US is not the only country that has such type of product. Uh, so European has its own um, something similar to GPS, uh, you can see that their accuracy is, is, is much higher even without the post-processing. And also other countries like Russia, they have its own um, GPS system, and also Indian, and also China, so China's, uh, Chinese uh, campus system. So. Um, I think this year I just saw the news that it, it is now fully deployed so it can, can provide service to the entire world. Okay, 
So those are the GPS product or some other product that are similar to GPS. So again, so many countries that they tend to develop their own system, so they will not rely on the US system only.